Is he coming? Oh, he's coming. He's a big boy. Are we faster than him? Oh, heck no, we're not. Dude, I'm inside of him. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to some Ark Valgaro. We're back down below underneath in the massive underwater cave again because we are doing a plesiosaur tame. I came down here in the middle of the night, which was a very poor choice of time to do it in, to build a trap. Kind of similar to the Argentavis one. This one is just with behemoth gates. I have eight of them with uh, two doors. So the plan is like usual, get aggro on the whale. Yeah, I think he's got like 46,000 health. Yeah. Run him into there and uh, hop off. I'll fit through the crack. Let him take the damage while I uh, come around, close the gate, and trank the pleasy. That, that's the plan. You know how it goes with me and Ark and plans. They usually don't work out, but that's what we're going for. So I've got a couple kibble here. I brought some exceptional just in case uh, we fail to get the... Um, the dino or the uh, plesi and we end up having to do a moza so we have uh, lamb chops as well so we'll use those and I have 221 darts seven uh, kibble for the plesi if we find one because uh, it's just man uh, the exceptional I did from Brano eggs that I picked up while roaming around the superiors from the Argentavis kibble, and I just don't have that many Argentavis to drop eggs uh, for a farm yet. And then over here, I brought a ton of dark with me, uh, just in case. It's pretty much all I have. <laughs> and extra arrows, and then these I got from, from coming down um, jellyfish along the way. I've got my Ascendant uh, crossbow, and then my other one that I have from Lou Drops. A couple extra arm or, uh, air tanks, just in case. So let's do a little bit of roaming around. It's still still kind of early morning. So I have the I have the gamma turned up so it's a little bit easier for everybody to see. So the pleasies were over here the other day. The Mose, yeah, there's that Mose. Oh man, he's coming down. Should we just go for him? Let's just go for the Mose. I mean a pleasy would be nice, but. The Moses here, we're here. Last thing I want is that thing aggroing afterwards. Man, I just hope I don't lose the whale. Is he coming? Oh, he's coming. He's a big boy. Are we faster than him? Oh, heck no, we're not. Dude, I'm inside of him. Oh, man, that's why I kind of wish I had the berry. I was thinking about bringing it too because I can shoot off of it. Dude, uh, okay, that was just weird. I've never messed with the Moses, so I don't know what kind of damage he does. If it's AOE, I don't know if I'll be able to get in and out. Is he behind me? Yep, he came in. Cool. So, uh, get off of him. Oh, man! Attack my whale. Attack my whale. If I lose the whale, I lose the whale. I need to close this door. Get trapped! Alright, I have no idea how much... It's going to take to knock him out. Oh, totally. How do you how do you miss something that size, man? Come on, dude. It's a level 135, so it's um it's almost max level. Dude, I didn't even look around here for Megs. It's getting daylight out though. At least we can see. I could probably turn the gamma back down to normal. Eh, we'll leave it high for right now. Um, I'm guessing they have a pretty high health pool. Dude, that thing is massive. Hope I can take him up the tunnel. Hey, man, at least he's not attacking my whale, dude. That's what I was really worried about was he was going to kill my whale. But he, he seems a bit stuck. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to sit here and uh, tag away at him for a few minutes. And then uh, we'll come back when he's taking a nice little nap for us. I can't tell if he's if he's out or not. Nope. Oh my god, he's not out. <laughs> oh man. I was like, well he's not moving. I thought I heard a sound when I went to get the get the stuff out of the basil. I thought he went uh ugh. you know, like he he passed out. Dude, I'm surprised he didn't bite me, man. That probably would have been the end of me. I mean we're almost two hundred arrows in. You getting sleepy, buddy? 
Oh man. Uh, whoops. I have not been paying attention to that. Dude, how many arrows are you gonna take? Really should have got a harpoon. I think the harpoons do a little bit more on the, uh... Wait, is he out? <gasps> it's unconscious! Dude, we did it! He's out! Alright. Am I stuck? Dude, I'm stuck in the gateway. You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna have to demolish it. Alright. So let's see. I'm not sure how his torpor does. Oh, he's doing fine on torpidity. Dude, look at his health, man. No wonder it took him so long. Oh, he almost died, though. He's pretty beat up. Is that 150,000 or is that. Oh, that's 13,000. Thought it said 130. Still, we got him down pretty pretty far. All right, well, we're going to put that into you. Go ahead and eat one of those. Here we go. Well, I'm not going to starve tame him. I'm going to go ahead and just tame him up. We get about 10% per on that one. And, and then we'll uh, throw some of those in there, too. So we're looking at plus 67 levels if we keep it at 100%, which, you know, we probably won't keep it at that. So it'll be plus, I don't know, maybe 60 levels by the time we're done, since we don't have enough kibble. All right, anyways, I'm going to sit here and babysit him for a while, and I need to get another doorway to fix that next time we come down. But we'll be back in a little bit whenever he's just about tamed. It's awesome. Well, it's day 23. We're almost out of food. Our air tanks are extremely low. And this dude is still passed out. He's 80%. We uh we are actually getting a little low on some stuff. I'm uh getting low on air tanks. I think I've gone through two. Uh, I've got that one left, I believe. He's gone through a couple hundred biotoxin and quite a bit of lamb chops. Went pretty fast with the couple kibble that we had, so it's definitely... Oh, look, he's already going down again. It's like the Giga all over again. He almost woke up earlier. I was uh, was out on patrol on the Basil, and uh, came back, and he was, like, really, really low. Super low. But it is nighttime, so I won't stay here very long. Just uh, checking in, letting you know he's almost done, and this looks pretty nice at night. But, yep, yep, a little bit longer. He's still going to take his nap. Then we'll leave the Basil here and take him for a spin. Luckily, it'll probably be daytime by the time he wakes up. Well, we're getting pretty close here on little guy. That 98.6%. Oh, and he tamed. I was in my inventory. Awesome. So he came out to be... Sorry, she. She came out to be a level 202. I'm gonna take you off a of follow. Let's uh let's adjust some stats real quick before we get too into it. Awesome, let's get rid well, dude, you just ate all of it. Okay. Throw a saddle on. Go ahead and change our air tank out. So we got 17,800 on the health, 1600 stamina, 2,000 on the weight, that's awesome. And 374 on the damage. Let's see which door we can get out. It might be stuck because it seems like that's a very tiny pin for this thing. I think that's why we didn't have to worry about too much damage because it kind of got wedged in. And it's still got some torpor going on. Hey, look at that big dude. Holy crap, he makes a whale look like a little tiny thing. moves pretty fast. I guess, I don't know, I mean, other than the squid, this is the biggest thing in the ocean, right? So, yeah, I need to be kind of safe here for a minute. I don't think we can pick any of these flowers or anything on the ground, can we? Because I think he's 
He's gonna need a couple stem berries. Nah, nothing down here is uh, pickable. Yeah, I think we need to kind of be be over here safe for a few minutes until his torpor stops going up because I, I was feeding him quite a bit of the the biotoxin to keep him knocked out. Tell you what, we're gonna go ahead and let him wake up quite a bit and get rid of his torpor, and then we'll take him for a spin down here and then try to head back topside. So we'll see you back again in just a minute. All right, so it looks like we got him stabilized now a little bit. He did level up one just sitting there and I put it into health. Holy crap, it went from 17 up to 19.4. So that's a uh, massive increase there. So it looks like we do 355 on the damage. As soon as we level up, we'll put a point into that and see what the difference is. Dude, he's so big you can't even see around him, man. Holy crap, six points. So let's see, let's go. That's not too bad. Man, look at that health. That is crazy. I think stamina might be alright. Put a couple points into movement speed. We'll see if we can't get this, this guy. Well, I mean, he already moves fast enough. That's a waste. Well, let's check out a little bit on the cave down here while we're here again. Hello, Mr. Angela. So we got 384 now on the damage. That is crazy, man. What's his weight at? 2,000? Ooh. You would think that uh, sharks wouldn't even come to mess with you. There's another basil. Oh man, look at that. Look at all the carnage. I'm unstoppable. He's got a uh, pretty huge turning radius, so. He's kind of like the Giga of the water, huh? So we're at 426. Let's uh, man, let's just go all out with the with the damage. Five twelve. Holy crap! Too bad there's no underwater bosses on this map. That'd be awesome. It's uh, it's a bit difficult to kill things that aren't directly in front of you, though. Yeah, that's not gonna work. That'd be cool to see some uh, alphas down here. I kind of want to save the points a bit. I need a. Oh, wait, what is that? Basil blubber. What level is that basil that we killed? I've never seen that before. But I want to, uh, I want to level up his health, but if I do it too much now, it's going to make it to where his stamina won't regen. Alright, well I think that we're going to, we're going to head up topside. I could spend all day down here just messing around, killing things, but we'll do that another time. So let's grab the, let's grab the whale, and we'll see, oh man, I don't know if I can fit up, okay, it's bugging me now. I don't know if I can fit up through the, the cave, should be able to. Might be able to. We'll see. Are you following? Yeah, he's following. It's alright, man. Don't worry. I'm gonna run blocker for you. You just, uh, you just head up top. <laughs> that whale can hold its own, man. That dude, that dude wrecks face, too. Y'all messing around with the business end. Get wrecked! There's a, uh, there's another whale down there. 
probably go ahead and kill him just to uh, get the free oil. I'm running pretty low at base on oil. And my my oil pumps that I have out, I have two of them. Man, those things are going so slow. Wow, first person, that's pretty crazy. Whale on whale. No whale on whale violence, man. Yep, I'm gonna save those, man. I want to put them into health, but I want to, uh, I want to be able to heal up and stuff. It annoys me having the, the thing on the top of the screen, but it is what it is, man. Look at that big guy, dude. He's massive. I wonder. I think I already already said this, but I wonder if the squid will spawn down here. Dude, did I, did I leave my basil? Sorry, man, you uh, mourning the loss of your friend over there? <laughs> My bad. Well, he sure does make getting through this tunnel a lot faster. I thought the whale was fast getting through here. It's going to be hard to navigate if he does get through the uh, the tunnel. It's going to be hard to navigate him through some of that water. It's pretty shallow with the rocks. We should take this guy over to our Genesis playthrough. There's a huge underwater world on there. Uh, one of the biomes they got the biomes are kind of split up oh, there's another whale spawn boom 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 <laughs> right, i want to go first person while we try to get through this maybe not i can't see Oh yeah, he'll make it. Barely. Sorry, there's a little bit of lag while you're transi transitioning between zones. Uh, you stay here. Wait, I'm out of stamina. Ah, oh, there we go, it's regenerating. I need to go check on the whale. I think he got stuck. Uh, stay here. Come on, dude, what you doing, man? We're all up top there waiting for you. Dude, how would you like to uh, just be starting off on this map and you go to come down this cave? Just got your scuba gear, you know, your fabricator, farmed all day for it. And then there's a big moza like this just sitting there. Just rah. That'd be nope. Whole bunch of nope. So I think we have to watch out for jellyfish. Still with this guy. Alright, so we have made it back here to base. We might have an issue. I don't know if that base is going to be big enough to put him in it. First things first. Let's get on the whale and um, let's get him sorted out. Of course, you had to go to the side, didn't you? Mm hmm. Man, that thing is massive. We're going to tuck him in the side. All right, we don't want you <laughs> we don't want your tail sticking out, man. Put it back. All right, stay there. You good? You good. All right, now that we don't have so many following us, Let's see what this guy can do for speed. Man, it's really shallow. But he does zoom. <laughs> all in all, man, it's been a good day. It's been a long day. I think it's been like two or three in-game days to get this guy tamed. Well worth it. Let's see if he'll even... Well, he doesn't fit in that way. 
Let's see if we can get him in the other side. We might have to expand. Oh yeah, he ain't gonna make it. Oh yeah, he does. Look at that. Not sure if we can close the door. All right, well, he made it. <laughs> Barely, but he made it. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and leave this one here. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.